In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today, through the intercession of Saint Justin Martyr, we are praying in all our intentions in a special way. We are praying for Angela Zabato, Nancy Connolly, Pat Chuck Quinn. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught Saint Justin the Martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected the deception of an error, we may become steadfast in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Tobit. On the night of Pentecost, after I had buried the dead, I, Tobit, went into my courtyard to sleep next to the courtyard wall. My face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know there were birds perched on the wall above me, till their warm droppings settled in my eyes, causing cataracts. I went to see some doctors for a cure, but the more they anointed my eyes with various salves, the worse the cataracts became, until I could see no more. For four years I was deprived of eyesight, and all my kinsmen were grieved at my condition. Ahikar, however, took care of me for two years until he left for Elimis. At that time, my wife Anna worked for hire at weaving cloth, the kind of work women do. When she sent back the goods to their owners, they would pay her. Late in winter on the seventh of distress, she finished the cloth and sent it back to the owners. They paid her the full salary, and also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleat. I called my wife and said, where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to its owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. She said to me, it was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages. Yet I know, I, yet I would not believe her, and told her to give it back to its owners. I became very angry with her over this. So she retorted, where are your charitable deeds now? Where are your virtuous acts? See, your true character is finally showing itself. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, the heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generations shall be blessed. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. 
they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? And to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. I remember a delightful poster a friend had in his office wall. On it was a young infant with a very painful, agonizing look on his face, having dumped a bowl of spaghetti on top of its head. The infant's agonizing, painful look was anointed with spaghetti sauce and spaghetti noodles, and the caption at the bottom of it read, Praise the Lord anyway. Perhaps Tobit, a righteous man with a very generous heart, may have uttered these same words after being anointed with bird drawings that resulted in blindness, white scales obscuring his vision. So today's lesson could be, pay attention to what is over your head. Or today's lesson may be wrestling with the question, why bad things happen to good people. Tobit performed from the depths of his heart many works of corporal mercy. He gave bread to the hungry, clothing to the naked, and burying the dead. He displayed courage in burying the dead. Seneca Nob in his rage killed many Israelites, and Tobit secretly went and buried all the bodies. Someone told the king what he had done, and he had to go into hiding for fear of his life. But after the king's death, he returned home and was reunited with his son Tobiah and his wife Anna. And on the festival of Pentecost, a fine dinner was prepared for him. He sent his son out to find a poor man in the square to share his meal. His son Tobiah came to him and said one of their kinsmen had been murdered in the public square. Tobit immediately got up from the dinner table, leaving his dinner untouched, and he made arrangements for the man's burial the next day. And so at sunset, he dug a grave and buried him. And that evening, he lay down to sleep beside the wall, and he suffered the fate of being anointed with bird droppings. Did you know that there are some people who believe that it's good luck when a bird poops on you? A number of people will tell you when a bird poops on you, it is a signal for you to slow down, evaluate yourself, your actions, your beliefs, your choices, and to reflect on your life honestly. Ultimately, for many people, a bird pooping on them implies that they've been noticed by some higher being in the universe for their kindness, their selfless acts, and their service and wisdom. It's literally the heavens smiling down on them and choosing them to receive good fortune. I wonder if Tobit believed that when he was anointed with bird droppings, that it was a sign of good luck, a blessing from God. Consider this. His blindness was darkness of spiritual death, as the unvindicated just man. In Tobit's own words, what joy is left for me anymore? I am a man without eyesight. I cannot see the light of heaven. But I lie in darkness like the dead who no longer see the light. Although still alive, I am dead. But here is the rest of the story. In the end, Tobit will experience a spiritual resurrection. He recovers his sight. He returns to the light. And he regains not only his vision, but his son, and a pile of loan money as well, adding to this a pretty daughter-in-law, all the well-earned interest on his life of charitable work. And so he sings a song of joyful praise of gratitude and thanksgiving. Tobit sings, When you turn back to God with all your heart and with all your soul, do what is right before God. 
then God will turn to you and will hide his face from you no longer. Now consider what God has done for you and give thanks with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of his ages. As for me, I will exalt my God. My soul exalts the King of heaven and rejoices all the days of my life. Let all sing praise to God's goodness. Rabbi Hale Kushner wrote a book, When Bad Things Happen to Good People, and he offers his wisdom, which is a testimony to Tobit's life. When we reach the limits of our own strength and courage, something unexpected happens. We find reinforcement coming from a source outside of ourselves, and in the knowledge that we are not alone, that God is on our side we can manage to go on. So Tobit's journey from spiritual death to spiritual resurrection is a lesson of hope. When we experience spiritual blindness, let us remember that when we pray for strength, hope, and courage, we will find resources of strength, hope, and courage, which we did not have before we prayed. Tobit's song of joyful praise and gratitude and thanksgiving ends on this note. Blessed be the God of Israel for all ages, for in you the blessed will bless the holy name forever and ever. So friends, pay attention to what is over your head and never forget, God is our stronghold, the God who shows us love. Let us give thanks and praise. Let us turn to the Lord in prayer. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, Sacred Heart of Mary, pray for us that we may be faithful on our journey. And like Tobit, may we have the strength and the courage to face our adversities and to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that God walks with us. We pray to the Lord. We offer our prayers for Holy Mother Church for St. George that a new season of Pentecost will anoint us, that we will be faithful evangelizers sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Amen. And Lord, in this season of summer, as people begin to travel, we ask traveling mercies for all those who will be on the road and reuniting with friends and with family. We pray to the Lord. And Lord, we lift before you all those who cry out for tender healing mercies. Bless them and anoint them, walk with them, grant them courage to face the illnesses that beset them. And we also remember today Angela DeSabato, Nancy Connerly, Pat and Chuck Flynn. We pray to the Lord. And Lord, for those who have died and gone to heaven to meet you and our blessed Mother Mary. Grant them the grace of eternal peace and rest. And we pray for the repose of the souls in purgatory. We pray to the Lord. Lord Blessed are all of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man hands, you become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, <laughs> Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries which St. Justin sternly defended. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do exhort you with all, with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed your Lord, the fount of all holiness. May Holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the light that you fall, so that there may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mister of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. <clears throat> And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and other clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be caused to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your Apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I resolved to know nothing why I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of Saint Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord by our witness and by our life. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.